Hello, hello, it's Dean and Dave. I hope everybody is doing well today. I want to talk to you today about a technique that can, well, change your life. Now, we all love a good cup of joe, yeah? Mmm, that is good. You know, it gives you a little bit of boost, doesn't it? Especially if you have the caffeinated kind. As developers, and that's primarily who I'm going to talk to today, but this technique that I'm going to talk about also applies to other areas of your life as well. How many times, as a developer, have you been working on a particular solution in code, or you're trying to fix an issue, and you get everything just right, you get that feature complete, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just is not working. And you're like, what the... And, you know, it's times like that where what if you could call a friend, phone a friend? Or what if there was a hotline where you could call and somebody could just give you the answer right away? Well, listen, I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but there is such a hotline. Yep. Yep. It has to do with a duck. This happens to be a really smart duck, though. I mean, you can tell. He's got his ear thing in here. I mean, he's a true support desk kind of duck. Notice he's holding a computer. This duck knows a lot about computers. And he knows a lot about many different kinds of code. I don't care if you're working in C-sharp or you're working in TypeScript or you're working in Angular or React or Vue.js or whatever it happens to be. This duck's pretty smart. So you're probably wondering, okay, you're crazy. Ducks can't help me with my code. What are they going to do? Are they going to just look at my code and say, uh huh, right, right. There's the issue right there. Are they really going to do that? I don't know. Probably not, right? That's crazy. Well, come to find out, there is this technique or method. It does involve a duck. And of the rubber duck bath time kind of way, but at your desk. Now, a good friend of mine recently gave me a shirt and I'm wearing it now. Let me see if I can get it into focus here. Let's see, can you see that? Let's see, yep. Let me go back to the big screen here. So can you see this? Yep. Explain it. Have you tried to explain it to the rubber duck? I know that was really awkward, but I've got these headphones in and the, the cable's only so long. So, have you tried explaining it to the rubber duck? Well, th this is nothing new. Many of you may already know about this. And for those that do, maybe this will provide some little entertainment and a different perspective on it. But for those of, you, those of you that have not heard of it, well, the idea here is to first get you a rubber duck. Now, your rubber duck could look like this one, or it could just be a basic rubber duck, you know, that you played with as a kid in the bathtub. You set it on your desk, and when those moments come where you just can't figure out what went wrong because, hey, you didn't change anything, did you? It just all of a sudden stopped working. Well, I think we all can appreciate that computers 
just don't lie. Very rarely is it actually a problem that we didn't cause. <laughs> so the idea is you look at your duck on the on the desk. You say, hey, duck, here's what I'm trying to do. Let me show you my code and I'm gonna explain what it is that I am trying to accomplish with this code. And I'm gonna walk you line by line of what it is that I'm doing and where I believe the issue is related to or anything like that. And lo and behold, what happens is, as you're explaining it to the duck, the duck is intently listening, by the way, and very interested in what you have to say because it's a smart duck. But as you explain that to the duck, oftentimes what happens is you recognize something that you could have been staring at for hours, right? Just trying to figure out, maybe you left and tried to come back with a fresh perspective too, because you'd already wasted so much time trying to figure out the little issue. Um, Because that's what it always ends up being, right? It's usually something really simple and maybe even stupid. It could be a typo. I mean, how many times have you gotten a syntax error and just didn't realize it? Um, So as you're explaining it to the duck, you realize, hey, there's my issue. I found it. But it's that process of verbalizing it and explaining it to the duck. Now, you may be saying, listen, this is silly. I'm not going to put a duck on my desk. Well, I mean, I kind of had the same thought. Even though I wear the shirt proudly of the duck, uh, I took a little different route with mine. Because not every issue requires the same kind of perspective to fix, right? And that is dependent upon my mood as well. Because if I'm, you know, I've got the music cranking in the background, you know, I'm jam, you know, I've got it going on. I'm feeling pretty good, but I'm a little frustrated. I may want a different kind of response from the duck than I do if I am just ticked off and I'm at my wit's end. So sometimes I could do with a little bit of humor just to kind of help me through it. Sometimes I need a little more direct response. Sometimes I just need somebody to refute me, you know, regardless of what I say just to drive me to find the answer in a different way or quicker. So here's what I've done on my desk. I have used these Funko Pop from the office. (laughs) So you can see here, I've got Jim Halpert, you know, and I've got uh, Michael and I've got Dwight. And I've got some others, Pam, and I've got Kevin, and I've got Daryl. Each of these have very different personalities, right? So when I was saying a few minutes ago, sometimes I just need somebody to reject any idea that I have regardless. I'm going to pick up my Dwight. Here's my Dwight, by the way. I'm going to say Dwight, and he's going to say false, you know, right away. So the reason I bring this up is because you need to find your rubber duck. Sometimes people can work for this. Um, Sometimes. And, man, I just realized I have not been sharing my screen. (laughs) There is my... um, There's my office Funko Pop characters. So, yeah, think about what I said just a few minutes ago and then look at this picture and you'll see what I've done here. And that's that's my desk right there. And so I've got my little Funko Pop characters there. And depending on who I want, uh, what kind of personality I'm expecting back, I kind of use it. But find your own, you know, Funko Pop or 
whatever, you know, your own character, your own vibe. Maybe you're a Star Wars fanatic or something like that, and you really want to kind of use some of the characters and their personalities there. But it's important. Uh, sometimes people can work for this, you know, um, but sometimes they'll get in the way too, you know, because everybody has their own perspective and ideas and they start talking too much and it's like you're not really just explaining things and trying to enlighten yourself on what happened um, without going down a few rabbit holes or, or potentially there. Um, but that's a good technique too. I mean, co-coding and things like that, I do it all the time. I love it. There's a lot of benefits to it that far out wages find in a you know, a solution to a, uh, an annoying problem there. But find your rubber duck. And I hope this technique helps you in your issues that you have from time to time in code. And you're trying to just find the answer there. So I'm DNN Dave. If you like this content, please hit the like and the subscribe. Please, a little notification bell. Um, that way you'll get notified whenever new content comes out. I've got a whole long list of content here, but if you have ideas that you want to hear about subject matter, let me know in the comments below and I'll put your idea into the queue. So thanks, take care and have a great day.